Welcome everybody to Stoke Tutorials. Today we're going to be drawing a woman in a three-quarter view. So start with an oval like we did last time with the men or an egg shape, whichever one you prefer. Um, split it down the center in half and then split it in half the other way. Horizontally, I guess. And then you place the the point in the middle, which is pretty much where the brow uh, of the nose is, or the bridge of the nose. And then I split it to where I want to put her face, or her, her, where her brow moves over to the, to the three-quarter view. And then remember that the bottom of the nose is usually about in between half of the, the bottom half. And then the mouth is um, just above the half line then, too. So then I measure the distance between the two points, add that to the back side, so that I know how much head there is. Now I draw the, the circle for the eyes, and to line up the, the two eyes, uh, the bottom and the top, I'm going to use a triangle and make it square with the side of the paper so that I can get a straight line. This isn't always necessary, but it's hard for me to really gauge the, the where the other eyes lie or if I'm making a straight line just because I have to keep my paper taped down which I don't usually do so it's helping me it's manga so we'll keep a very basic nose especially for women and notice the, the mouth is just above the, the halfway point there Then the jawline always goes um, back to wherever the head was originally, which is a which is a nice way to be able to gauge where you need to put that. So if you understand what I'm saying, the jawline goes back to where the jawline was originally when the face was just a front-facing face. Remember that women have dainty eyebrows, just uh, very sleek, helps to make them more feminine, more petite looking, I guess, too. And this is her bangs, and the bang fangs that I'm adding here. If you watched the last video, um, or the first video of the women, I said that I thought I put the eyes maybe a little bit too high for her, and so I changed this this time. If you notice, I put the eyes pretty much right through the center line, or the, the eye guide line, and where the first time I put it on top of it. Uh, this helps her to make, make her look a little bit younger, a little bit cuter. Um, the other way just made her maybe seem more of an, an older, more mature woman, I guess. top line of the eye, you try to keep a little bit thicker. Um, I've seen some artists make it really thick, which is which is fine, it's just your style, but it's, it's a good thing to do on women. Um, it gives that appearance of um, a, a deeper eyelash or a thicker eyelash, which is desirable in women.
also remember that women um, have a very skinny neck, a thin neck, unless you're drawing like an Amazon woman or a very large woman. Um, they usually have a, a really skinny, dainty neck. I had to step away for a little bit, but here I'm back. And you just keep the nose very simple. There's just that little line right there to the side. And then I'm going to, this is the ringlet that I'm putting in here for her hair. The ringlets to me kind of look like soda cans stacked on top of each other. They're not exactly stacked perfectly, so they're off a little bit to each side. And then they're also hollow, so that's why I'll leave some, some openings, I guess, sometimes to make it look hollow. I'm having a little bit of trouble finding out where the other one is going to be. Or where it's going to lie. So I end up just drawing. I'm just going to draw some of her um, body. I feel like I'm really starting to get used to this. At first I was really nervous, plus it was just hard drawing with uh, paper taped down. So I hope you guys are enjoying it. I think she's starting to look a little bit better than my first videos already. So usually I use either um, like a 4B pencil to finish it. Um, in my very early ones I used some ink pencils. Today I'm trying something different to see if you guys like this. It's just a, a black Prismacolor pencil. Also if you're wondering what I use for the blue lines, it's actually called a non-photo blue. Um, it's another Prismacolor. But it's supposed to not be able to be picked up when you scan something in or when you copy it, I think. But it doesn't really work that well, at least not in my experience. But it's a good good sketching pencil and it's really good for this because you can actually see the lines, the sketching lines. Remember when I was drawing that, the other eye to the right there, um, you always draw that smaller eye a little bit more foreshadowed, foreshortened. Um, because like the, the head is being turned away, so it's going back into perspective. So it's going to be squished. Not as round as the other one. You couldn't see it very well, but I did throw in some, some eyelashes there on her upper eyelid. Um, it's hard to see, I guess, in the video, but they are there, and that's important for the woman. Remember that women always have more soft edges, not hard, uh, sharp edges. The men can have those, but most women will have soft curvy lines, especially like I was thinking when I was drawing the jaw there. I guess that doesn't apply to these fan, these bang fans though, they're kind of funny. But otherwise, like her, her actual body is smooth. And most women that you would draw would be that way.
All right, now on to the ringlets. You know, anime or manga drawing is always um, a little bit simpler than actual real life, but you still have to give that illusion. So I try to make it organic and you're not just leaving them in cylinders. I'm making them go in a little bit or um, sometimes I can put stray hairs in them. I don't think I will, but sometimes I do. Or I make sure I put in those, those little lines going around it, especially to give the illusion that it's, that it's curved or that it's rounded, but also to show that it's made up of hair too. You see I'm putting in one of those spaces to show that it's a little hollow inside. And then I kind of just taper the ringlets off into the hair to help it look natural, I guess. See a little bit of the hair, your ear back there. At the bottom of the ringlets, I try to show that it's it's a, an open cylinder again, or an open hollow. And then I, I throw in a strand of hair at the bottom to just show how it's, it's curving around a little bit. And then to show the curls here, I'm just uh, kind of making it look like waves or something. I don't even have to describe it. You know, it's just like one mound going into the other one. And all right, I gotta I gotta flesh this out, flesh out the rest of her body to see how um, how the curls in the hair are gonna actually flow over her shoulder here. So give me a second. And it almost looks like I know what I'm doing. But I'm learning just like you guys. I just put a bunch of these mounds, under mounds in, and then some stray hair sometimes. And I just do it until I, I think it looks good. You know, uh, not too much, too much can really just make it um, too busy. Uh, and you don't really get a clear picture of what's actually going on. But put enough in there that you don't have a bunch of open space or, you know, what have you. I know that there are some artists on uh, YouTube that will really throw in a bunch of shading and things like that, but I try to keep my drawings more to what you would actually do in a manga, in a, in a um, I'm trying to think of the word, but like a normal manga doesn't have pencil shading or 
you know, those those types of shape of cross hatching and things like that. And you, know, you can throw some of those in. I'm trying to just show you the lines, and those are the kind of things that um, are especially used in mangas. And I'm not trying to throw in too much other stuff that you don't really need to worry about. Uh, maybe I will get a little bit heavier into cross hatching later on. And I even use that very lightly. I use some solid black areas. Because most mangas will do that, but other than that, you won't see too much more just because, you know, I'm not teaching you how to, to draw traditional stuff. I'm, I'm teaching you how to draw a manga, and that's what I draw, so. We're just going back in to finish off a few details. I'm right now. I'm adding a little bit to the curvature of the front eyelid or the front eyelash, just to give the eye more definition, I guess. I realized that I didn't put. The, the rest of the hair that would be coming out the side there, you know, the curly back hair, or the hair on the right. So, I'm going to add that in now. A flyaway here and there really does sell hair, especially when there's not you know, the realistic definition. So don't forget the little flyaways sometimes. And if the hair was actually in wind or something, there would be obviously be a lot more flyaways. And that can really add some movement to a picture, so don't forget that. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I, I enjoyed making it for you. Um, it's always good practice for me. And I think she came out looking pretty good. So I hope it was helpful. If you guys will let me, I'd like to plug my comic book, uh, Legend of the King. Kios Chronicles. Um, it's an epic fantasy battle manga about a boy destined to be a king. Um, he gets anointed uh, by a seer and then uh, what follows is his challenges um, fighting the, the king that's already in place that is no longer wanted, and also fighting the warring nation that's going against them. Um, obviously not all that is concluded in this story, but you get the, the beginning of all of that, those battles and things like that. Um, it's fun, uh, it's humorous in some spots, serious in others, um, it's a lot of action, fighting, it's all black and white like most manga. Notice that as I'm paging through a little bit. Um, but yeah, I, I really enjoyed making it, and I think, um, I mean, I enjoy reading it. I've read it a bunch of times, and I think you you guys would probably enjoy it too if you enjoy some 
some fantasy um, comics, manga. So, please do me a favor, if you can, uh, pick it up um, and support me so that I can continue doing this. And uh, thank you guys for letting me take some time and, and talk about it. All right. Thanks for watching, you guys. I'll see you next time right here. Keep on drawing and never give up.